What's up guys? It's Lauren from Mattress Nerd, your favorite editor and certified sleep science coach. Today I brought the Bear OG mattress into our nerd lab. I'm gonna run it through a series of geeky tests to help you determine if it's the best mattress for you. But first, make sure you check out mattressnerd.com for a ton of in-depth, unbiased mattress and bedding reviews, plus some exclusive coupons on the Bear mattresses, but you can also cheat and find those in the description below. Stick with me to the end of the video and I'll be answering your FAQs. Let's get started. Nerd, we analyze every little thing about mattresses so we know exactly what we're talking about. So like the true nerd I am, I unzipped the bare mattress and ripped into the fire barrier to get a good look at the layers and how they perform. But just a little note, don't try this at home, you will void your warranty. Now that that's out of the way, this mattress is 10 inches tall and it's made entirely of foam. So starting with the cover, it is made with a material called Sealant that the brand claims aids with muscle recovery, so it should be really good for athletes and active people. Now our first comfort layer is foam that is infused with graphite and gel to keep you cool and to help relieve pressure a little bit. Now under here, we have a little um, transition layer that is supposed to keep you elevated on the mattress surface, gives the bed its responsiveness, plus it also helps um, eliminate that pressure in your hips, shoulders, and low back. And finally, down here, we have our primary support layer, thick, dense foam that keeps your mattress from prematurely sagging. When it comes to sleep temperature, the sealant cover and your cooling graphite gel foam is gonna keep this cooler than your average foam mattress, but if you sleep extremely warm, you're gonna wanna try a bed with breathable coils like the Bear Hybrid. At Mattress Nerd, we rate firmness on a scale of one to 10, where 10 is as firm as the abs I'm working towards. <laughs> And one out of 10 is not only the softest, but it's also representative of my motivation to work out. But the Bear Mattress is a seven out of 10 on this scale, meaning it's medium firm and it's gonna work best for back and stomach sleepers. But we also wanna see how well this bed responds to movement. So we're gonna use this lacrosse ball. As I bounce it on the floor, you can see it comes right back up to me. Now we're gonna try it on the mattress surface. We see a lot of great air on the bare mattress, which is surprising because it is an all foam bed, but it's gonna be great for combination sleepers. To have a more personalized mattress shopping experience, you're gonna wanna know if you sleep on your side, back, or stomach, because a bed performs differently based on your primary sleep position and body type. Now, side sleepers are like coffee drinkers. They make up majority of the population. All they need is a mattress that relieves pressure in their hips and shoulders and keeps the spine aligned. Bear does both really, really well, but it is a bit on the firmer side, so lightweight and average weight sleepers may not find it as comfortable as they would on a more plush bed. Now, back sleepers are like me after having one sip of peppermint tea. They can sleep well on almost any surface. All they need is the natural S-curve of their spine maintained, and the Bear mattress does this for lightweight and average weight back sleepers. Now, I am a stomach sleeper, just like some of you out there, and all we need is a firmer mattress to keep the hips elevated. And you guessed it, for lightweight, average weight stomach sleepers, the Bear mattress supports your weight just fine. Time for the nerdiest test yet, pressure relief. That's right, I rolled out our super scientific pressure relief map, which uses heat mapping technology to indicate pressure distribution along the body. Just note that blues and greens are good and reds, oranges, and yellows are bad. So let's take a look at my results. Starting with the side map, we see blues and greens all around, a little twinge of green in the hips. Nothing to worry about, it looks really good here. Moving on to the back map, we see almost no green at all, so you should be amazing back sleeping on this mattress. At 
I'm Mattress Nerd. We know that sharing is caring. If you care enough to share your bed, you also probably care about motion isolation or a bed's ability to stifle motion at the source so it doesn't transfer across the mattress and wake up your partner. Now to test this, I'm gonna press my hands into the mattress to simulate someone tossing and turning. You can see that the liquid in the beaker is a little shaky, but now we're gonna test this by dropping the weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. As you can see, it's pretty shaky, pretty sloshy, so it doesn't isolate motion as good as an all foam bed should. Making decisions is hard, pro con lists help, so I made one for the bare mattress. First up, the pros. This bed is great for back and stomach sleepers because of that seven out of 10 firmness that should keep the hips elevated and the spine aligned. Next, this bed is very, very responsive, so if you like to toss and turn your combination sleeper, then you should be able to do so easily on this mattress. Finally, if you like to exercise, the pressure relief combined with the sealant cover on this bed makes it a great surface to rest and recover on. Moving on to cons, this is not the best bed for heavyweight people because it's simply just not supportive enough. I recommend you check out the Bear Hybrid. Next, people who tend to wake up sweaty may have some issues on this mattress due to lack of airflow. And finally, if you sleep with a partner, you may feel their movements, so just be aware of that if you're a light sleeper. Now that I've shown you everything the Bear Mattress has got, I'm gonna put it head to head with the competition, the Nectar Original Mattress. Like Bear, Nectar is also a memory foam mattress. They both relieve pressure really well, they both align your spine really well, and they both work for combination sleepers. However, Bear is a little easier to move around on and it works better for athletes, but Nectar works better for couples, has a longer sleep trial period, and a longer warranty. But if you wanna know more about either of these mattresses in depth, go ahead and Google Mattress Nerd Nectar Mattress or Mattress Nerd Bear Mattress for our in-depth reviews. Now I'm gonna go over some quick hits regarding Bear Sleep's policy so you know exactly what to expect when you buy. Now all Bear mattresses come with the industry standard 100 night sleep trial period where you get to sleep on the mattress, try it out for 100 nights and see if it's for you. If it's not, no harm, you can return it for a full refund but if it is, you get a 10 year warranty. Now if you wanna know more about these policies in depth, you can check out our written review in the description below. In my hand, I have your FAQs. Let's dive in and answer them. Question number one, is a bear mattress worth it? Well, the bear mattress was made with athletes and people with active lifestyles in mind. So if you like to run long distances or do yoga or lift weights, the bear mattress is probably for you. Plus, with our exclusive coupons in the description, you can get a queen size bear mattress for less than $1,000. Question number two, how long should a bear mattress last? Well, bare mattress is pretty much your average all foam bed in a box. It should last you about seven years with proper care and rotation, but you do get a 10 year warranty that replaces the mattress with any um, sagging or indentations. And finally, question number three, is the bare mattress good for side sleepers? I say that this depends because side sleepers usually prefer a softer mattress than what the bear has to offer, but it also aligns your spine really well and it relieves pressure from your hips and your shoulders, so it really just depends on your comfort preferences. Now, if I didn't get to your question this time around, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I will get back to you ASAP. All right, my little nerds, we've reached the end of this video, but I will see you again in the next one. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so we can be there with you every step of the way of your mattress buying journey. And remember, don't lose sleep over choosing a mattress. Let us nerd out and do the work for you. So all you have to worry about is getting a great night's sleep. Bye. You may not feel as comfortable on the surface. <laughs> okay, so lightweight. <laughs> So like... <laughs> <laughs>